what happened. So uh, first of all, who is Ledger? Um, if you don't know and you're trying to figure this out, Ledger is a company, they're based in France. They make uh, devices, hardware devices um, that are hardware wallets. They make a bunch of different models. Um, they also manufacture the software that's related to this. Um, now, what happened? Um, a database of theirs leaked. Um, does anybody know the exact date? Do we know? exactly when this happened? I think it was June 2020. So June 2020 is when it first was, we started seeing the reports of people getting like phishing emails or seeing this database supposedly for sale on the hacker forums. As far as I can tell, the database dates were some point after March 2018, probably all the way through June. So if you bought a ledger between those dates, um, you probably were in the database. Okay. And then, so reason, what leaked exactly? Do do we know that? We know that. I from what I have gathered, it seems to be a uh, a database like a sales marketing fulfillment type database. So, uh, you know, something that they probably store customer details in in order to ship them the ledger and then email them newsletter yes it appears to be two different data dumps one is obviously just an email newsletter the other is an actual order data dump that has email phone physical address name and phone number quick disclosure my information is in there so i i so, so is mine mm, um so i bought a, a ledger uh in that time frame um and I also have a database like that, by the way. Um, I have a shop, so I also have information on my shop that contains information like that. I also have a newsletter, uh, a mailing list that people can sign up for. I think all of us do, right, in some professional capacity. So this, right. so it's important to note that this is something that, yes, it happened to Ledger this time. Um, Six years ago, it happened to BTCE. At the time, a very big um, exchange. It's also happened to a couple of other smaller exchanges in the meantime. Um, this is not a rare phenomenon, right? If you're in this industry and your information is in various databases of private companies, eventually someone's going to make a mistake and your information is going to leak. All right, let's let's audience question. Um, Lucia, uh, aka Dancing with Crypto, asks: Is this a new leak? It was one a couple of months ago, and I'm still getting spammed on SMS. So two events happened in June of 2020. Um, this information was stolen by hackers. This information has been circulating on various dark websites. Um, hacker forums being bought and sold, and a bunch of different actors apparently have used it to send out. I've been receiving phishing attacks uh, as text messages since about September. Um, they really escalated in the last month. I've received probably a couple a week at least in the last month. And what happened that's new? Yesterday, someone dumped the entire uh, both of the databases on a public. Uh, um, does anybody know where that was? I don't know. It was the raid forum. It's a fairly common hacker forum where you can find all types of databases. Great. So, um, so that was dumped, which means now everyone has this information. Now, uh, th there's some arguments to be made as to whether it's better to just have it out in the public. Um, hackers had it already. Um, the only, the real problem was we couldn't really check, am I affected until it was public. Now it's public. Now we can go check and find out if we're in that database. Um, all right. So the time frame approximately is um, up to July 2020. So how do you know if you're in this database? 
Well, most likely you've been getting spammed with phishing emails and texts in September. <laughs> That's a good sign. Um, there's two places we can check. Um, one of them is called have I been pawned dot com. Um, have I been pawned dot com. Uh, pawned is P W N E D. So have I been pawned dot com. Someone's going to drop that in the chat right now. You can take a look at that. Um, now, what have I been pawned will do is if you type in your email address, this is a, a site that's been run by a volunteer um, and a couple of assistants, I believe, for years now. They collect all of the public leaks, billions of records, and they won't actually show you what information about you was leaked, but they'll tell you when it was leaked, which specific leak it was involved in. I put my email address in there. Um, my email address has so far been leaked 28 times in 28 different breaches. That's because I've had this email address since 1994 because I'm old. Uh, I know, you millennials. Um, so that's one. If you want to see more detail, IntelX.io. IntelX.io is one of the companies that collects this information and also catalogs it. So on IntelX.io, so it's like Intel, like the chip company with an X afterwards, IntelX.io. You can go and search again with your email address. When you find the, that you're in the Ledger leak, it's gonna say Ledger leak July 2020. If you click on that, you can then see specifically what information is in there. Uh, about you. Um, the links are in the video description, they're also in the chat now, and you will be able to find, but what you'll see is either just your email, if you're in the mailing list database, or your email name, shipping address, and telephone number. Did I miss anything, uh, my dear guests? Uh, have we covered everything that was out? What happens? What information is out there? I think one common question might be, well, if my email address has been leaked, do I need to change emails? If you're still using your email after 28 leaks, then it must be safe, right? Right, yes. No, I won't change my email. Um, spam prevention has gotten good enough. Um, I need to be uh, very, very careful anyway with what I get. I assume my email is known by everyone. I assume that it's leaked. I assume that I'm going to get um, phishing emails all the time because I get phishing emails all the time. Listen, these ledger people are not even creative. Uh, you want to strike fear into the hearts of men um, and or women, you send them the email that says, I've hacked into your computer. I turned on your webcam while you were surfing porn. I now have a video and I'm going to send it to all of your family on Facebook. Do you know how many of those I get a week? <laughs> I get so many of them. I used to report all the Bitcoin addresses to my security guy too. And then finally he was like, stop Taylor. I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. The scary thing is when you see how many people are actually paying that extortion. Now's a good point to clarify the most important point. This seems obvious if you're in security and you understand how hardware wallets work, but it's, it's worth mentioning. Ledger doesn't have your keys. They do not have a database of Bitcoin addresses or keys or seeds or any information that is in your device. The fact that their website sales database leaked has no bearing on the security of your key material on your device unless you voluntarily give it to them because you're tricked into giving it to the attackers. Ledger doesn't have any information. They don't know um, your, your IP address was not part of this. Um, they may collect some IP addresses from their app. We'll talk about that in a bit. They do not know um, your seed. They do not have access to your keys, obviously because then there would be no point in having a hardware wallet. If the hardware wallets came preceded with um, seeds delivered by the company, if there was a central database, 
um, there would be no point. Hi, I'm Andreas Antonopoulos. If you enjoyed that video, consider that it takes a lot of work to produce open and free content that can be shared with everyone around the world. This isn't sponsored by some company, it's not promoting a product or an altcoin or some kind of investment scheme. My goal is simply to help explain the technology of Bitcoin and open blockchains to as many people as possible in a neutral way that focuses really on the incredible possibilities that this technology brings us. If you'd like to support that mission, subscribe to my channel and go on patreon.com slash aantonop where you can participate and help me build better content for more people. Thank you.